So we're very lucky. And as probably the whole audience knows, a huge amount of progress, specifically in B-cell, not how things look film is over the last five and really 25 years. And a lot of that is in immunotherapies, CAR T-cells, as everyone is familiar with FDA approved, but now some novel and I would say exciting CAR T-cells instead of just attacking CD19, like all of the approved CAR T-cells, we have either we say bisystronic or bispecific CAR T-cells attacking CD19 and CD20, and a couple of those being reported here at ASH, and some of those also recently published from other groups. Exciting but early data. We also have other immunotherapies. Now people are very familiar with bispecifics, and most of those bispecifics attacking also CD20. Some of those FDA approved, some of those getting brand new FDA labels, uh, for example, for second line follicular lymphoma, the use of epcaridumab plus rituximab lenalidomide with a huge benefit presented here at ASH uh, by Dr. Felke and also now published in parallel in The Lancet. Very exciting new label, probably great improvement in outcomes for our patients. And beyond CD20 by specifics, we have more and more data about slightly novel targets, but at least novel medicines, CD19 by CD3, by specific, one of them is called Surovatamig. It used to be called AZD0486. And it looked good last year, but more and more and more data, awesome efficacy results in follicular lymphoma and very good or maybe great data in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and now doing studies with that molecule also to treat mantle cell lymphoma and CLL. So rapid progress in all of these parts of B-cell lymphoma, 